Hello everyone, it's me again. My name is Wang Fu. I'm 8 years old. I live in Dallas City and I study at the Golden Brown School. Nice to meet you. Today I'm going to read my book. Questions kids ask about snakes and frogs. Can frogs plant trees as snakes slimy? Slimy? Why do rattles snakes have rattles? Where do the salamanders live? Why does chameleon change color? Can you tell the age of a turtle by its cell? Why do snakes stick at their tongues? What are reptiles? Can lizards grow new tails? Fine. I'm reading good. Why? I'm not reading like this more. Okay, so let's start. What are amphibians? What do frogs, toads, and salamanders have in common? They are all amphibians. Amphibians are animals that live a double life. In fact, the name amphibian comes from the Greek words amphi. Hmm? Amphibian meaning both and bios meaning life. Most amphibians begin their life in the water breathing through gills like a fish. As they mature, their body changes shape and they develop lungs. They can now live in the water and on land. Amphibians do not drink water. They absorb it through their skin. For this reason, they must keep themselves moist at all times. These clammy creatures are cold-blooded, and in the north, they hibernate in the winter. I'm already out of breath. It's not funny. I'm out of breath. What are amphibians? Oh. What are reptiles? You may be surprised to discover that snakes, lizards, turtles, and crocodiles are all reptiles. The word reptile means creepy. Although not all these creatures creep, and they certainly don't look alike. They have many things in common. They all have Backbones that rise, scaly skin, they breathe air through lungs, and they are cold blooded. Most reptiles have four legs, with five clawed toes at the end of each, while a few species inhabit cool areas. Many of them live in tropical or temperate regions. Look. Why do snakes stick at the tongues? I know. Like? <laughs> no, it's not. Why? Why? Do you know why? Oh, maybe I know all that in this book. I know why. They are sticking the tongues at so they can, they can smell with the tongue. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny, but it kind of like using it. Oh, I know one of the most venomous snakes in the world. The most venomous snakes is inland type. Have you ever wondered why a snake keeps flicking its tongue in and out of its mouth? It is not trying to sting, nor it is giving you a raspberry. Believe it or not, snakes not only taste but smell with their tongues mom look see smell with their tongues told you a snake can stick at its tongues without opening its mouth taste so a north in the upper lip as the snake crawls along it constantly sticks its tongue at off this horn and feels its way along the ground. At the same time, it sports 
Deep pics of tiny sketch. Let me just. Okay, so let's be. A center is box tip picks up tiny scans particles on the ground and in the air and carries them to a place on the roof of the snake's mouth, where there is a special organ for smelling and taste. This is very effective method of smelling animals, the snake to follow the scent trail left by its prey. To sample food or find a mate, then its tongue is not being used. The snake pulls it into a shed in its mouth for safe keeping. How many snakes are poisonous? Poisonous to whom? Many snakes carry enough poison to kill small animals, but not enough to but a human being, our snakes can kill a person with a single rope of venoms. Yeah, 2,500 to 3,000 different species of snakes, but only 270 may be harmful or fatal to people. In North America, some of these are coral snakes, contamines, carpets, and rattlesnakes, the most dangerous being eastern diamondback rattlesnakes. Do snakes spit? Some do and some don't. The speech in cobras of southern Africa have the ability to speak the screen of venom as well as two measures six feet. The poison is aimed at the eyes of any of the animal close enough to make the snake feel threatened. The victim is temporarily blinded by the poison, and if it isn't washed, you smoked me so mad I got spit. As a rat away, the blindness can be permanent. Spits in cobra spits as a means of self defense. They have strong muscles encasing the glands, that make and slowly poison. Then the muscle sends a fine stream of venom is forced out under pressure from the arm in the face. Spitting cobras and strong animals, which they bite in the, in the usual way. Fortunately, they, they are the only snakes that spit and they have to go to Southern Africa to find them. Do you know, snakes continue to grow all their lives. Get a monster. I know a girl, a monster, Brisky. Separation mask. He is really long for this to be. I'm reading a book. Can frogs fly? Apart from insects, only birds and bats are true flyers. But many animals can do the next best thing, glide through the air. The most incredible flying frogs of 
Asia. These flyaways are realists can make fantastic flying leaps of up to 16 meters feet if feet by making their bodies concave and spreading the oversized fingers and toes to glide their fossils from tree to tree. This is the only way to fly. Can frogs breathe underwater? If you have ever tried to catch a frog, you know how long it can hide underwater. It's hard to believe that any creature could hold its breath so long. Why doesn't the frog have to come to the surface for air? Do it is or not the frog is still breathing down there as a bottle of frog. So not through its nose and mouth as it does above water. Frogs have soft smooth skin that contains a vast network of blood vessels. And gradually, oxygen from the water passes through the skin directly into the frog's blood. So you are ever waiting for a frog to come up fire. Don't hold the breath. Can frogs climb trees? Some can, and that's why they are called tree frogs. They live in trees, clinging and climbing by using tiny suction cups on the tips of their toes. They are very good trumpers as well. Most tree frogs are small, some less than two and a half centimeters an inch long. Many of them have skin the same color as the trees they live in. This makes it very difficult for them to be seen. Most are excellent singers and they love to sing just before the thunderstorm. Did you know the poison frog of South America produces poison skin substances that are used by the Indians at area to poison arrow tips? How long can a turtle hold its breath? We well, yeah. have. Would you be these several weeks or even, or even a few months, years? A turtle doesn't have atomic body temperature control like birds and mammals. Its temperature changes according to its surroundings. When it gets too cold, a turtle's liking is more deep into the mud at the bottom of a pond or in the, into the dirt of the forest. How can it breathe when it's buried? The turtle stops breathing air directly. Instead, it takes in air through the skin, throat, and through an opening under its tail. And when spring comes and the ground warms up, the turtle dings itself as and starts breathing normally again. Can you tell the age of a turtle by its shell? Just as you can, but you just be wise not to make any bets. In areas where a turtle's growth is seasonal, its major rings of its shells, like the world rings of trees, it is therefore possible to the age of such turtles by counting rings at least while they are young as a turtle grows older. However, the rings fade and may even wear out completely, so don't experts to be able to cast the rings on a 123 years a year old total. Can a turtle live its shell? Never. No, it does. It and it doesn't want to because a turtle says 